Welcome to Countat. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at effective interest rates or EAR versus nominal interest rate or APR, otherwise known as annual percentage rate. What are these rates here? Nominal interest rate is a rate that does not take compounding into account. So it's a simple interest rate, in other words. It is also known as the stated interest rate. It is stated as a simple interest. So nominal interest rate is simple interest rate where it does not take into account compounding and you'll understand much more just now. Effective interest rate is a rate that takes compounding into account. It is the actual annual rate considering the compounding. compounding. So you take compounding into account for you to know what is the actual rate that I'm paying considering that there's compounding effect over there. If there is compounding, the effective interest rate is higher than the nominal interest rate. That's always the case. If you have more than one compounding during a period, the effective interest rate is higher than the nominal interest rate. If the interest rate is compounded once per, he, per annum or per year, the rates would be the same. So if the compounding is, is once per year, then the rates would be the same for both the effective interest rate and nominal interest rate. But otherwise, if there is compounding during the period, more than one compounding, then you will see that the effective interest rate is always higher than the nominal interest rate. So let's get much more into it for you to understand what we mean here. Here's the difference between the nominal interest rate and the effective interest rate. Here's an example. A bank charges 12% per annum compounded monthly on a loan of 2,000 rand. So a bank charges 12% per annum. And we are told here that it's compounded monthly. So obviously, there is 12, uh, 12 periods that is being compounded. So it's not compounded once. So it's 12% per annum compounded monthly on a loan of 2,000 rand. What is the nominal interest rate? The nominal interest rate is the stated interest rate, which is, we are told here, is 12%. So that is the nominal interest rate, simple interest rate. Now, we know here that there is compounding and it's compounded monthly. So we know that that 12%, it's per annum, but it's compounded monthly. The nominal interest rate that is stated here is what the bank would also state. But we know that if it's compounded monthly, then we are paying interest on interest. And that is what compounding means. So you will need to calculate what the effective interest rate to get the equivalent interest rate that you will actually be paying on this loan. So let's take a look at this. The compounding is monthly. So it's 12% divided by 12 months to get 1% per month. That means every month we are paying 1% on the loan itself. And remember, we are not just paying 1% on the loan. We are paying 1% on the loan plus the interest each month. And let me explain how that works. For the nominal interest rate, we have 12% times 200 rand. We get 24 rand simple interest. And that is what the nominal interest rate is trying to tell us that for one year, if it was simple interest, we'd be paying 24 rand for one year. But we know here that there is compounding effect here. That is why the nominal interest rate is not the best rate or it's not the most accurate rate to tell us how much we're actually paying as a percentage. But because of compounding, we know that we are paying actually 1% per month. So if you're paying 1% per month, how much is the effective interest rate? And that is what we're trying to calculate. And that is the main difference between nominal interest rate and effective interest rate. So if you're paying 1% per month, the interest in the first month will be 12% divided by 12 months times 2,000 rand. That means in the first month, we will have paid or will have incurred an interest of 20 rand. And then what about in the second month? How much interest will we have incurred? Well, we incur the interest of 12% divided by the 12 months times 2,000 plus the 20 rand. Now, do you see here that it's interest on interest? We incurred 20 rand in the first month as interest. And in the second month, we incurred 20 rand 20 cents. So 20.2 rand. And how did we get that? We took the 2,000 rand, the initial loan amount, plus the interest that we had incurred in the first month to get the interest for the second month. So you can see here that it's piling up. We are paying interest on the money that we borrowed on the loan of 2,000 rand. Plus, we are paying in, we are, we're also paying interest on the interest that we have incurred as well from the first month. That is what compounding means. Now, the question is, what is the annual rate considering that we are paying interest on interest? What is the actual uh, interest that we are paying back to the bank? Well, that is what is called the effective interest rate. The nominal rate 
the nominal interest rate of 12 percent is simple interest it does not take compounding into account but we know that we are paying interest on interest as we have seen down here the question is how many percent will we will, will we be paying in a full year and here is the formula and an example on how to calculate the effective interest rate the formula for the effective interest rate or the ear is one plus r and by r we mean the interest the, the the interest the nominal interest rate or the interest rate that you are given divided by the number of compounding in the period and that answer to the power of the number of compounding in the period so you can see m here we are talking about the number of compounding so it's one plus the interest rate divided by the number of com compounding in the period and we and that we take that to the power of number of co compounding in the period as well and then we take that answer minus one to get the answer now that may seem too much but you will understand now let's take a look at this example a bank charges 12 percent per annum compounded monthly on a loan of 2000 rand so it's compounded monthly on a loan of 2000 rand now already we know that this 12 percent this 12 percent that is quoted here is the nominal interest rate it does not take it has not taken uh, the compounding into account so we know that we need to calculate our effective interest rate and our effective interest rate we have the formula is one plus the rate which is 12 percent and we divide that by the number of compounding in the period which we're told here is compounded monthly so it's divided by 12 because it's compounded monthly so it's 12 months and then that answer to the power of 12 months as well because that's the number of compounding and then once we get that full answer we minus one to get the answer obviously you can multiply by 100 to get it in percentage form but let's look at it it's one plus the interest rate which is 12 percent or 0 0.12 divided by the number of compounding which is 12 months because it's compounded monthly and that to the power of 12 months because that's the compounding period and then we minus one and then we get an answer of 12.68 percent you'll get 0. 1268 you multiply by 100 to get to that 12.68 percent that is the effective interest rate so in re in real terms you're actually paying an interest of 12.68 percent back to the bank considering that there's compounding in place here so that is the rate that you want to be looking for to see how much am i paying in one year considering that i'm paying interest on interest on this loan it's 12.68 percent that is the effective interest rate let's look at another example quickly over here we're told that a fixed deposit earns seven percent per annum compounded quarterly what is the effective interest rate so here we have a fixed deposit which earns seven percent per annum compounded quarterly what is the effective interest rate now what i want you to do here is to pause and try and calculate the effective interest rate using the formula that i've given you above here and see if you get the same answer that we'll get it here so you can pause and try and do it okay i hope that you've done it and you've gotten the answer so let's look at this question we are told it's seven percent so it's one plus the rate which is seven percent so it's one plus seven percent or 0 0.07 so you just take seven percent divided by 100 to get seven divided by 100 to get 0 0.07 and then you divide that by the number of compounding in the period how many compounds do you have it says here it's compounded quarterly well we know that there are four quarters in the year so it's four that's the number of compounding in the period and that to the power of four because the number of compounding and we minus that answer by one and then we'll get our effective interest rate so let's see what it is here one plus 0 0.07 divided by four to the power of four and then we minus that by one and then we get a rate of 7.19 percent now that is our effective interest rate now you'll notice here remember i had mentioned at the beginning that the effective interest rate will always be higher than the nominal interest rate or the stated interest rate because effective interest rate takes compounding into account so you can see here our nominal interest rate is 12 percent but our effective interest rate is 12.68 percent so it's higher and here our nominal interest rate is seven percent and our effective interest rate is 7.19 percent so you can see our effective is always higher because of the number of compounding but if it's compounded once they will all be the same now that we've explained what the effective interest rate is what the nominal interest rate here is i want you to see a comparison between the two here on my left hand side i have nominal interest rate and here in in, in black i have the effective interest rate where it's compounded it takes compounding in 
uh, into account I, I found this uh, a similar table online and i thought this would be very helpful uh, for you to see the difference if it's compounded monthly you can see what the effective interest rate will be for five percent compounded monthly it's 5.12 percent if it's compounded quarterly it's 5.09 percent if it's compounded semi-annually sorry i didn't write that uh you can't see the other words but it's semi-annually it's 5.06 percent but if it's compounded annually look at this and nominal interest rate you can see is five percent Compounded monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, they are different. Co effective interest rate is higher. But if it's compounded annually, or if it's compounded once, that is, you can see that effective interest rate is the same as the nominal interest rate. Now, that is what I meant at the beginning. So if you try and plug in the formula that I gave you uh, earlier, you can try and plug it in and see what the compounding is monthly. You'll be able to get these answers over here. If it's compounded quarterly, if it's compounded semi-annually, you should be able to get the answer. So you can see the effective interest rate takes into account uh, compounding. And it's higher than the nominal interest rate so again when you're looking at interest rates with the bank or, or uh, with any institution or you want to invest somewhere if it takes into account compounding or if it's interest on interest try and get what the effective interest rate is to get the real rate that it's costing you or that you are earning i hope that this has made sense we have done another lessons where we show you how to calculate the effective interest rate and how to work backwards to get the uh, the, the nominal interest rates using the financial calculator. If you'd like to check that lesson out, you'll find the link in the description below. Otherwise, if you've gained value from this lesson, if you have learned something new, please consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.